Uh, so the chunks are a scarce resource, right? So how would you manage this scarce resource? Uh, are a scarce resource, um, how so? I mean, suppose you know someone wants all the chunks, right? Yep. Um, so the, you mean so if, if a domain wants all the sets in the cache into its own chunk? Yeah. So so every domain wants all. Let's say. Yeah, but but yeah, but that is usually the the, the trusted component of the TE architecture configures the maximum and minimum limits that you can allow for each domain. So. In short, you have to have limits. Basically, there is a maximum that can that any domain can get, and 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 in or, and that is necessary in also in order to guarantee that every domain would always get a minimum at least. So, in our prototype, for example, the maximum was five was one thousand and twenty four or two thousand forty eight sets. So, a domain cannot ask for more than that. And, and in most cases, a domain does not even need more than that because after a certain point, when you increase the chunk capacity based on our experiments, the performance of the benchmark doesn't improve anyway. It, it maxes out. It but doesn't in, benefit from increased chunk capacity. But in the spec benchmarks, you're putting every spec benchmark into its own domain, right? Yes. So, and so some, they, may and need, some of the they may really need a lot of chunks, right? True, true. But from, from the experiments we've run, even when we put multiple benchmarks in a single domain, we've seen that after a certain number of sets in a, in a chunk, uh, increasing the number of sets does not necessarily increase the number of performance anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't benefit the workload. And the, the, the performance is better than the baseline when all the workloads still share, the, the, still share all the cash. They do not get their own dedicated chunk. So here, every domain gets its dedicated chunk resource. It's not sharing it with any of the workload. Okay. 